Hi, I'm Laura Hamilton. Welcome to my home. This is a property that I bought a year ago and I have been rebuilding it over the last 12 months. It was an old property that I've tried to make sustainable and today I'm going to be chatting to Will from Mitsubishi Electric about my air source heat pump installation. Come inside. I'm excited to be joined with Will from Mitsubishi Electric right now. He's here to talk us through the system that I've installed into my property. Previously, it ran off an oil tank and it was so important to me that my property was sustainable and um, hopefully, you know, the, the running costs were going to be brought down. So I decided to install an air source heat pump, which um, part of the system, it comes with this water tank. That's right. Well. Yep. So, Will, talk us through the EcoDown system from Mitsubishi that I've had installed here. Uh, so what we've got, um, we've got inside, we've got this cylinder that you just mentioned. Um, outside, we've got the, the, the heat pump itself. Uh, the two work together. Um, what we've got here is a 250 litre pre-plumb cylinder mm -hmm. installed by uh, Dore Woodman. Um, the great thing about this cylinder is that the installer can just plug and play in the airing cupboard. All the connections are, are come pre-fabricated from, from the factory, so you just need to connect your, your hot and cold mains and, and a few other governs, but we won't go into the technicalities of it. It makes it sound so simple, Will, is it? <laughs> anyone could do it. <laughs> it, it, is, it is, genuinely, it's quite simple. I mean, people talk about heat pumps as kind of this new technology that requires lots of skills and lots of new skills that people don't have. It, it requires training from people. People, but it's not it's, it's not an alien it's not alien to people it's relatively relatively straightforward to fit um, but some of the some of the main features of it that we've got that might be different to other cylinders that people have seen is we have uh, we have an external plate heat exchanger which means that our cylinders this is this bit down here um, which means that our cylinders are more efficient than a traditional cylinder which might have a coil in there um, the other benefit of having the external plate heat exchanger versus the coil is that that 250 litre cylinder is 250 litres rather than we're losing some of that volume because of the uh, because of the coil that's in there. So that was something that Mitsubishi brought in um, when we first started bringing out pre-plumb cylinders a, a number of years ago. If someone is looking at installing an air source heat pump, yeah. what is the first, first stage, the first step? The first thing they should do is reach out to a local installer. So in your instance, obviously, we followed that route. And, and, and the reason we do that is because we need to understand the building envelope. We need to understand uh, what the fabric of your property is like in terms of uh, making sure that it's going to be suitable for the heat pump. So um, I know that from, from, from your rebuild, we've done bits to the property to, to improve that. We need to make sure that the windows uh, are, are fairly well insulated, that we've got loft insulation as well. Basic measures that most people should be looking to do their properties anyway. Someone came down from its bishop for me and um, then sort of surveyed the property yeah. to make sure that, because um, obviously these air source heat pumps and tanks come in varying different sizes, don't they, depending on That's your right. requirements. Yeah, so off the back of when that when that contractor, that installer comes to have a look at the fabric of the building, what they do at the same time is they'll take the information that they've they've gathered about the fabric, then they'll measure the building, and, and they'll put together a heat loss for, for the property. So in your instance, I think we've got an 11 kilowatt heat pump yeah. out, out, outside. They will have come in with a heat loss that's below 11 kilowatts. So we've got plenty there to be able to meet the demand, no matter what the temperature is. People always ask questions about heat pumps when the temperature gets cold. Mm. Um, can they perform and can they deliver what they, what they say they're supposed to deliver? A Mitsubishi Air Source heat pump will give you um, its stated capacity all the way down to minus seven. Some of the ranges will Which go all the way down today. to minus 10. It's, it's always cold <laughs> when we do this, but um, some of the ranges will go all the way down to minus 10. So wow. you know that if you've got a Mitsubishi, it, or even on the coldest of temperatures, you've got the capability to deliver the heat that the property needs. And you know, would you say that air source heat pumps really are sort of the way of the future or like, you know, to encourage people to install them where possible? Yeah, as essentially, I mean, we work quite closely with, with, with all sorts of different people. That's people doing rebuilds, people that are just retrofitting their heating system, people that are building new build properties uh, in social housing. There's no, there's no perfect property. There's no per property that won't work for it. Each property is going to be slightly different. So whether you've got an oil boiler or a gas boiler, or a storage heater property, all of these properties are suitable for a heat pump. It just needs the correct process to be followed. So that's getting contractors in if you're a private homeowner. If you're a new build or if you're a social housing organisation, that's getting in contact with Mitsubishi directly and speaking to the account managers that, that can help and provide the right information to put together specifications and assist with projects. So speaking to the right people, essentially. The, the world is electrifying. We're only going to go one way. It's, everything is going towards becoming more electric. And, and there are there are certain technologies out there that if you replace, for example, if you replace a gas boiler with a heat pump, you're not going to be saving hundreds of pounds a year. You'll be saving tens of pounds a year. If you replace an oil boiler with a heat pump, 
you're likely to be saving quite a lot more money than that. And if you're replacing electrically heated systems with a heat pump, you're going to be saving even more money than that as a, as a rule of thumb. So you're getting ahead of the game by doing it now. But as, as time changes and as, as carbon becomes more and more of a, of a thing than it already is, then it's only going to become cheaper to be working off electric rather than the old fossil fuel yeah. systems that are still in use. Is there anything else that anyone needs to know. It's sure that that contractor that you, that you talk to has got the right heat pump qualifications such as MCS approved. Um, if you're looking at uh, if you're a, a new build developer or your social housing organisation then I think it's really important as I already said that you go through the right routes that be the, the manufacturer mm -hmm. i.e. Mitsubishi um, and it's just important to, to, to follow that essentially. What I particularly like about it is how you can control it all through an app. Tell me about that. That's right, yeah. So we have an app called MailCloud. Mm -hmm. um, MailCloud enables us to, or enables you to connect the heat pump and the cylinder to the internet. Um, there's a couple of benefits to this. So the main benefit is, is to you as the homeowner. Um, you can download the app, create an account with us, um, and then you can control your heating and your hot water from your phone. So if you come back from work or if you come back from a holiday and you want to turn your heating up for half an hour before you get in, you can do that remotely. So you can, con you can control it through an app, on your phone, yeah. wherever you are in the world. The other, the other benefits to it, obviously we've mentioned that obviously you're really pleased with the system and, 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 and feel like you're doing the right thing for the environment to have it in. Mm. Um, what you can do is you can demonstrate to people how, how well it's working, how efficient it's being. So you can all, obviously the main priority is to control the system, but you can also go onto it and see energy reports at any given time. So okay. you can pull off um, information going back a couple of weeks, going back a couple of months, see the different data charts and the energy usage, energy consumption, etc. to make sure that number one, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, yeah. and number two, maybe to show off a little bit of how much money you're saving and how efficient the system's performing. Yeah. So there's benefits for you there. Um, and then we also have a system which kind of comes off the back of this called Mail Console. Um, right. Mail Console will hopefully not have to be something that you ever use, but at some point, potentially, that further down the line, there might be an issue with the heat pump. Um, what will happen is, the, the heat pump will send a, a, a message to yourself, um, but will also send a message to Mitsubishi saying that there's a problem with the system. Um, it will give you the error code, and it will give you a couple of fixes as to how to fix it. Everyone that comes in at the moment just says, wow, mm. that is an impressive bit of kit. And it really, you know, it really does. It yeah. does look, it is impressive. And I've, I've say, I also have, um, have something else that I had installed, which um, ensures that I've got really good water pressure in the house as well. So and it all seems to be really like working and then you can definitely feel it's nice and warm in here the underfloor heating right yeah, yeah. <laughs> will and i headed outside to look at the air source heat pump itself we're braving the car as we come outside uh, this is the air source heat pump which is the other part of the cylinder that we have yeah inside uh it feels it feels pretty cold actually <laughs> stood here but it's so quiet that's it, yeah. So a couple of years ago, we redesigned these units, um, and there was a number of reasons. One of them was to, was to make them more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so we've gone for for white and black. The reason we've done that is to match traditionally match the, the white PVC windows and the black guttering that we have on most properties. So yeah. one of the reasons that we went for that design. Um, the other thing we did was we made the fans slightly bigger. So you mentioned obviously the quietness, the quietness of the systems. One one myth about heat pumps is that they're really noisy. This heat pump is, is not noisy as you can hear it. Um, you're well aware obviously of the quietness of the system and making it a little bit bigger, making that fan a little bit bigger meant that we can make the unit, make the unit quieter. And the great thing about that is in most applications, we can, the unit will be able to be installed under permitted development, which means you don't have to go through planning permission. Right. So okay. that saves a massive job yeah. and a massive, pain, a massive headache for a lot of people. Well, can you just explain to me, like, because I think this is the most common question I get asked. How does an air <laughs> heat pump actually work? I mean, a simple place to start is uh, a lot of people, you've probably heard the analogy and a lot of people might have done is that it's, it's like a fridge in reverse, essentially. So people are very familiar with fridges. They might not be familiar with how they work, but they're familiar with the, with the products, essentially. Uh, so what we're doing in the heat pump is we've got a, a, a number of different moving parts in here that all work together to, to put that heat into your property. So essentially what we've got is we've got, um, we've got a refrigerant that's in this system. This refrigerant will boil at about minus 50, minus 51 degrees. This heat pump is able to, to take heat out of the air no matter what because of that low temperature of the of the low boiling point of the refrigerant. So it's taking, it's drawing the air. Yeah, and that's what we're doing. So this fan. fan, this fan is we're drawing it around the back of the unit. We're taking the heat out and we're, we're expelling cold air. So you can feel here that it's colder yeah. than it is over here because we're taking the air out. We're taking the temperature out. And what we're doing then is there's a compressor here. 
this compressor works as like a bike pump analogy. Yeah. So we're, we're turning this, this gas into a superheated gas um, and then we're putting it through um, a, a, a condenser which is, uh, we're then giving that temperature, that with that superheated gas, all the temperature from that, we're putting that into the water pipes that are into going into the house, right. going into your underfloor so, heating system. So clever. Yeah. So, so clever. So, and from a running cost point of view, am I right in saying that for every, um, every one kilowatt of energy you actually pay for, it generates three kilowatts of energy? Yeah, essentially, that's that renewable element of it. So. We need a, a kilowatt. The easiest example is to use that example one in, three out sort of thing. So we need the one in to run the fan and to run the compressor. That's that little bit of electricity that we need. And because we're extracting air, we're extracting temperature from the air, that's the extras that take us up to that three that we get that we deliver into your property. And this heat pump here will be almost 400% efficient. So that's almost one in, four out. So. The, the heat pump technology is only only going to continue to improve and those efficiencies are only going to continue to get better oh, well, which look, means more money saving to yourself it's, it's been great to chat on i'm super impressed super impressed with like not only you know your service but the, the kit that i've installed here and it does feel like i've i'm future proofed exactly that that's that's the key message to people is letting them know that what you're doing now is, is protecting your house and, and hopefully protecting the environment for years to come yeah. thank you right i'll make your quick cup of tea please <laughs> Having an EcoDan means having cleaner and greener heating and hot water for your home that won't cost the earth. To find out more about heating your home in a more sustainable way, visit ecodan.co.uk.